video, I updated a I did a Joker construction update and covered a rumor at the time that Great Wolf Lodge would take over the Key Lime Cove Resort in Gurney, Illinois, minutes away from Six Flags Great America. And turns out, come April, that was true. Key Lime Cove announced on their end, mid-April, like April 19th was the final day of operation for the resort. Now, Great Wolf has finally come out and given a sneak peek photos and a press interview of the Great Wolf Lodge gurney opening in mid-2018. My current prediction is around Memorial Day of 2018. Some people say as early as spring break, I'm thinking more Memorial Day at this point based on the lack of progress I've seen so far from the construction, from the exterior at least. Um, you'll see it looks completely different than Key Lime Cove, but alas, let's give it a shot. Um, let's go through the article and just nitpick some stuff or just cherry pick some good stuff around here. Um, the renderings were revealed Wednesday, uh, August 2nd. The Chicago Tribune posted this at 9 a.m. And if you didn't know, Chicago Tribune was the first, uh, where I, as the website where I got the first uh, video from, where the Key Lime Cove rumor. Um, 60 million plus project, tropical themed Key Lime Cove is turning into Northwood style Great Wolf Lodge, 80,000 square foot water park with a wave pool, 50% more slides than its predecessor, which I believe is a dozen to 18 slides. 12 to 18 slides will be a good one. The predecessor only had a five slide complex in the back corner, about three slides in the kitty area, like a kitty splash pad. And uh, I'd say about another, I mean, it's. It had uh, probably several slides, but I think they might count it as one complex. So if they count everything as one complex, five slides in one complex, the kitty splash pad, and then the family area, that had seven. I'm going to say a dozen is the minimum number we're going to see of slides in this area. 80,000 square feet. Can I, it can also fit a lot. Great Wolf Lodge is really good at fitting a lot into a small space. And several water attractions in development, as well as an eight outdoor pool, which it's not actually, well, it's a pool, yes. It's a pool, a hot tub some lounge chairs, and possibly a basketball net. However, uh, there's no slides on the outside. They had this in Mason, too. They're just going to use a corner um, for the outdoor water park, or an outdoor pool instead, for those who want to go out in the sun. You know, as if you didn't, if you didn't, been, if you haven't been following Great Wolf Lodge, uh, they're opening the Great Wolf Lodge Minnesota, which is Mall of, which used to be Water, water Park of America, and they're opening Atlanta, um, Great Wolf Lodge Atlanta, like LaGrange, Georgia, spring of 2018. So we've already got three things in the work, and they're already proposing an, um, a Florida location, which that should be fun. Um, Illinois Outpost, look at this phrase, relatively easy drive for Chicago and Milwaukee markets, slated to launch mid-2018. Now, I like to say Great America serves both Chicago and Milwaukee for an amusement park hub. That is is true even to the Chicago Tribune analysts. That still applies here. Like, no, I'm not the only one that thinks that the Great America, they've got the town of Gurney is really good for Milwaukee and Chicago. Those, both of those metropolitan areas. Let's scroll down. That We'll get to the other detail later. Um, big lobby, oversized rooms, just typical um, stuff. It had a lot and lots of line with brand. Oversized rooms, big lobby, but the water park wasn't as big as it should have been. It says Bryson Hazen. So the aquatic playground will be 20,000 square feet larger with a lazy river, dozens and a dozen slides. Well, I think that number could be higher, including the resort's signature Alberta Falls, which is a tube slide complex. They have Alberta Falls at pretty much every Great Wolf Lodge. This, I believe Alberta Falls is a tube slide complex, as well as Coyote Canyon, which this means a bowl slide is confirmed. I mean, Key Lime Cove already had a bowl slide. You can see single or double tubes. Um, I don't know if they're going to be using the same slide. This one's this one's going to be completely indoors, possibly like the last one. Um, I could be the same bowl slide for all we know. They just might be retheming it. Like Coyote Canyons are usually blue and yellow. Um, yeah, and then kid, uh, they'll have of course team or options for younger kids with thrill rides for early teens and tweens, stuff like that. Um, artist renderings will show a. Colorful indoor water park behind a wall of the cavernous lobbies with a tall stone fireplace. So it's the rustic centerpiece. Yeah, that's just detail. It's going to look like an entire new property. This is actually going to be true. I've been inside the Great Wolf Lodge. You get taken away with the Northwoods theme when you when you enter the lobby. Key Lime Cove's lobby was kind of mediocre. It was just laminate with a few like palm trees, um, some coconuts. They had a restaurant. If you went right, if you went left, you went to 
a midway with a bunch of shops. You had a check-in. Uh, you had the elevators go to the hotel rooms. Um, and then if you went straight, you go down a, a flight of stairs to the arcade, which will eventually lead you to the water park. You can see the water park through windows at, at the very start of the park. This will be a good thing. I think that the lobby will be a lot more colorful than Key Lime Coast. They won't, they won't really deck it out as, as many shops. They're going to try and keep them in the lobby, yes, but I think that I'm really interested how they're going to see the use the, this old lobby property. They really got to give that thing a new coat of paint, a new flooring, new bunch of stuff. And, of course, with that, we're going to mention it down here. They're going to have their Forest Friends animatronic show. Now, they say this will be a souped-up version because of probably modern technology. It uses um, mapping projection, more dramatic effect, uh, multiplane. I don't know all this um, character stuff. I don't know where all this uh, animatronic stuff. I'm not a big fan. I'm not a huge in expert in machines, but this one, they're claiming it will be a ramped up, souped up version of the Forest Friend Show, which if, uh, in the very front of the lobby, you'll see the like animatronic clock tower, tree house, whatever it is. They have like two or three shows a day, depending on the place. Most likely, like, that's, that's really good. I don't know if the shows are all the same, but whatever. Um, dry play attractions will have typical Great Wolf Lodge amenities, mini bowling lanes, which will probably be in like tucked away in the corner of the arcade, nine-hole miniature golf course, which they'll probably ramp out like an old convention center for that or something, live action game, uh, Magic Quest, I don't even need to call it live action, I don't need to justify it. If you've ever been to Great Wolf or any sort of resort by them, you know what Magic Quest is. Magic Quest is uh, that. they got Scoop's Kid Spa, another classic amenity, and Northwood's Arcade which is that what they usually call it. So yeah, a lot of typical Great Wolf amenities, a lot of people, a lot of things to do in the water park and outside the water park. Um, the dry and wet activities, all that stuff. A new um, farm to fork, quote unquote, restaurant, Barnwood, which, uh, it oh, it says here that it'll also be open to non-resort customers. They said it was first introduced in Colorado Springs, doing phenomenal. And they're trying to tap into the whole, like, higher-end food offerings rather than just a food court sort of thing. Also, they offer a wind-down service for the adults. Um, you can pay for $35. You can have a bottle of wine with a sweet, savory snack, like chocolate or something, delivered to your room between 8 and 11. So pretty late in the evening, just to wind down, this time with a D, not with a pun. And here we have a rendering of the outside this is here we have our outdoor pool it looks like any other hot tub somewhere it's just the major pool complex some lounge chairs and then that's it that this is how you get into the indoor pool um the the outside complex does look more interesting because of the funnel um there was not a funnel slide at Keylon cove there are it does look like there'd be like two tube slides or three of them there's two yellow slides and uh, an orange slide there I do not know. I can't really get the best view of that orange slide, but it looks like it'll probably just be a bank turn going out there. This entire slide over here will be out the out the uh, thing, this funnel slide. Um, it's going to be one of those moderate size funnels. It's not going to be one of those tiny funnels like the uh, like triple twisters or double twisters, or like Wipeout at Great. Uh, Maybe like Wipeout at Great America size funnels, but this time you'll have like single tubes, so you you might get a little bit of air. I don't know. This will be an interesting one. So I, I'm I'm looking forward to riding that moderate size funnel. It does look better than like the triple twisters at uh, Mason. Those were kind of underwhelming. It uh, sounded awesome on paper, but it's really underwhelming in execution. But that's just a that's just a nitpick of Mason's. Also, more 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 um, <clears throat> ah more immersive. Yeah, we want st guests to stay at least two or three nights instead of one. Which, yeah, Key Lime Cove was definitely a one-night stay, unless you were staying in the area. Key Lime Cove was the, Cove was the definition of a one-night stay. Um, the same number of rooms that Key Lime Cove had, 414, but the Caribbean decor will give way to a cabin vibe, especially in kid cabin suites. Some of the rooms will have a room-within-a-room room functionality where kids can sleep and play in a themed area with bunk beds and like a log cabin style thing with the Great Wolf kids all over the place. I mean, it's a... Uh, it's very interesting for kids being hidden away from your parents. Of course, there's still, like, full or queen-size beds for the parents and whoever else might be in the room. But for the kids, they get an entire little log cabin to themselves. And they have get a bunk bed, which is every little kid's dream because, you know, it's not... I mean, 
people who sleep in bunk beds don't think it's that amazing, but people who sleep in single beds, like, we all have that bunk bed mentality for us who sleep alone. Um, yeah. Also, we're going to get away from that. We're going to have a few last things up before we go to some pictures. They've given us eight pictures of the place. Reservations won't be taken until roughly six months before it opens, which that means that reservations will most likely be taken in the winter, as probably as early as Thanksgiving, as late as like January, February. I think we'll probably see it like November, December. December seems like the most optimal time that they might give us some reservations. And they'll typically start around $199, but the overnight rates have not been set yet. Also, the price includes an access to the water park for up to four guests. And the, one of the new functions, you can use the water park before check-in and after check-out. So for a one-night stay, you get two days of play. Which, uh, it appeals to a mar market like Chicago where it's only an hour to an hour and a half drive. So you don't have to go really far. I like what they're doing there. I like what they're doing there. You can, before you check in and after you check out, you can play in the water park. Of course, there will be restrictions, but I think that they're, it's really good. So you can get some final, you can get some final moments, some final reps on the slides there before you go. Now, I'm going to go back up um, to the very top of the article. This right here, we have a photo gallery of eight photos. Um, let's just see what we got. Hello? Come on, open up. Oh, wait, do I click on this? Oh, nope, it's buffering. Yeah, my computer's been acting kind of slow today. Oh, we're getting them. We're getting them. We're getting them. Sorry if I wait. Here you go. So we have a lobby here. It looks like we have a compass. Here's the locations of all the other uh, Grey Wolf Lodge stuff. I don't know why these arrows are pointing in two different directions. This looks like the lobby. Here's like a fireplace. I don't see the animatronic show. Maybe it's in this barn over here. This looks really interesting. They changed the stairs, so it's probably going to be a similar concept. It looks like they might have a water park entrance right here. You can see some recreation of Fort Mackinac. They're not going to slip away too many details of the water slides. I cannot see any of the water slides, really. Um, I think the main ones, at least. So they actually did a good job of hiding those. I, I They're sneaky for doing that, but I kind of hate them for that, but I can see why. Um, next picture, I believe, is uh, is like taking another Great Wolf Lodge. Uh, it's like Alberta Falls, I think. So I think once this one's done buffering, we could probably go right over to the next one. Oh, come on. Like, this is like a... I'm, the, keep in mind, it's being recorded like a 10-year-old Mac. I'm... Come on, son of a... This is frustrating. This is what I have to put up with when I record up here. I don't usually have this problem because I'm in Keynote, or like this, this thing down here. But I... Okay, I'm just going to refresh this. While this is refreshing, we're going to go over to... Never mind, we're not going to go over to that. Oh, now Safari's not responding. Great. Lovely. Sorry for this blooper. Oh my lord. Alright, take two. Force quit this, please. Oh my lord. Yeah, uh, the only point of having this Great Wolf Lodge Gurney tab up was that there, the Gurney location is officially listed on the Great Wolf Lodge site. However, there's no details given, but you can sign up for a newsletter that comes through email. Um, if you so want to. That's literally the, on that's only, that's the only reason I was going to show you the uh, Gurney location on the official Great Wolf Lodge page to show that the page exists. And uh, to, that, to show that... Uh, What's its face? Um, the show that uh, you can get sign up for a newsletter. Sorry about these bloopers. I'm I want to show you these photo galleries. You can skip ahead in the video if you haven't already. Uh, here I am. I also exit out of iTunes, which is stuck in the background. Um, okay, give it a sec. Here's the lobby. We've already seen this. We're gonna click on this arrow. Please do not screw up again. Oh, okay. This turned. This turned. There we go. This is in Alberta Fall. It's taken to some other park. One of a dozen slides, according to them. Here is Barnwood. This is what it'll look... What the heck? Okay. Here's what Barnwood would look like from uh, this. You got TV or yeah, photos. You got rustic theming all over the place. This looks pretty nice. Farm to fork, they call it. I think it's still frozen. We've already seen the exterior photo. Here is a kid cabin. 
you got a adult bed, a couch, desk, and then you got the wolf den over here, which you got a bunk bed and some good theming for kids to play in. Which is interest like the I've I've seen some of those. Okay, advertisement, get out of here. Bucket drop, of course. You'll they will always have it'll be called Fort McKenzie, and they'll always it'll be like a play slide complex with water jets, mesh crossing crossings, uh, slides, and of course like a four hundred gallon bucket to drop on your head. Magic Quest. I'm pretty sure this has been taken somewhere else, but it's very similar to this. This is Magic Quest, and then finally we have a, a wave pool. This will probably this is a different location, of course. There's no way the wave pool is already done with people in it. There's it's no way, but we're gonna have a very similar style wave pool to this, um, and it features it's that will be part of the former Keyline Cove when it debuts. So they might use the same wave pool. However, I think there are problems with that. I mean, it'll be a wave pool connected to a lazy river, which caused a lot of problems. I think overall it'd just be better if they kept it separate, redid everything, but, I mean, that's like that. I'm sorry about the delays, guys, but let's hope that was worth it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, this is about it. I'm going to be signing out here. If you guys have enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscription. I wish you guys have a great Insta time here, because I cannot tell you what the 